Hello everyone. Hello Ebonites. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I just wanted to say welcome and I wanted to hop on. This is going to be one of my more informal ones because I know it's been a little while, but I've been so busy. Um, I didn't want to neglect you guys because I miss talking to you guys. So I wanted to say hello and just show you a little bit. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to show you Millie Poo. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm outside with my little one because she needed to burn off some energy. Sorry, I thought I saw a frog, but it's actually a leaf. So she needed to burn off some energy. So we're taking a break right now and we wanted to say hello, let you guys know what's going on. Um, it has been a absolute crazy two weeks I mean crazy um, I have been so busy I'm so tired I'm exhausted but I have been committed to my brand my business um, to you guys so that's why I still want to hop on and just say hello tell you what I've been up to we have been in the process of expanding um, my business first class Africa Whew, the wind is taking my breath away <laughs> so um, We've been busy with that process and bringing new and exciting things to our clients so that we can better serve them. So that's been exciting. It's also been a lot of work. I have been busy working on my entrepreneurship um, brand, I guess you can call it, or um, I don't know what, it, what I would call it, but just the goals I have for helping other entrepreneurs and sharing my journey with you guys as an entrepreneur. I just find it kind of just, you know, fascinating to hear other people's journeys and to learn from other people. And if you haven't seen that aspect on my channel, please make sure you check it out. It's called Excellence with Ebony. I have episodes up now. We've done three episodes and I'm in the process of booking more people for more episodes. But I just am a firm believer in you can learn from everyone's journey. Um, no one, no two people have the same journey and anything that other people who are successful can share I think is imperative so that is in the works right now I'm also working on sharing my journey with you guys to being an entrepreneur from um, how I made the transition from just being a stay-at-home mom and wife and um, you know working originally giving up my career and then deciding to stay at home and then going back into building a brand and a business so I have that in the works I um, that has been quite a process um, it takes a lot of work and effort um, Millie Poo is enjoying swinging right now oh it's so windy isn't it yeah it's so nice <laughs> so let's see oh let's see if I can if I still got it let's see mommy if you need Help, I can push. Oh, I still got it. Who taught you how to swing? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, uh huh. But well, I still got it. I hope this isn't making our view um, dizzy. Me, mommy? You want to hold it? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? I want to high swing. Here, I'll I'll film you. So you gotta put your legs like this. You got it. Out and that. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Okay. I'm no, I got it. So, cause I'm filming. I want to film. Yeah, well, I don't want you to make them dizzy. I want to make them dizzy. <laughs> you want to make them dizzy? Wow. <laughs> so, anyways, that's what we've been up to. We have been um, just working like crazy. Like I said, I am quite tired and exhausted but it'll be all worth it um, our philosophy right now is we basically work ourselves like crazy right now in hopes that six to twelve months from now it'll all pay off um, it looks like things as far as the pandemic is concerned are progressing so that's very exciting to see um, the world slowly slowly getting back to normal um, with how devastating things have been so I'm hopeful about that and um, still you know send prayers to those who have been um, horribly affected I know my family has been really affected by it it has 
the year 2020 um, really changed um, the trajectory of our plans uh, a quite a bit. We had to actually cancel two international trips that we had um, for business and for personal, you know, enjoyment due to things that were going on globally. So that was very disheartening and um, we're looking forward to getting back to our normal schedule and not being stuck in one place for so long. Um, this is the longest that we have, we have been stuck. Oh, sorry guys. The sun's coming up. The sun's yeah. coming up, but the wind is like taking my breath away. I think it's the, the position I'm in. Yeah. It's like, can you breathe right now? Oh, yeah. Woo! You're out cold? No. Okay. But my hands are. I know. I so, I forgot what I was saying. I have to go back. So, anyways, so that was very disheartening that we could not um, travel and um, go to our other home like we normally do. So, that was disheartening, but I think things are slowly getting back to normal. Thank goodness and um, 2021 is looking up. I think it's gonna be a much better year. No, not I think. I know it's gonna be a much better year because it has to be a much better year. Um, oh my gosh, Millie Poo, I think I'm gonna have to go inside. This is like so windy. You wanna stay out here? Yeah. Whew. I'm going outside now. Okay. All right, go ahead. Ready? Go. Woo! Are there spider webs on there? Yeah, but I can see the monkey paws now. All right, so I just need to clean it. So, anyways. It's a beautiful day outside. It is a beautiful day right now. Now it feels much better, the sun is out, so it feels much better now. Yeah. This is much better. Stay I'll stay right now. So, how are you guys holding up? And, you know, I am, as you know, I'm very passionate about entrepreneurship and showing people another path to success and helping those who um, have wanted to get outside of traditional 95, find a way to do that and learn from others. I also am passionate about, you know, educating people on the continent of Africa, especially Tanzania and educating people about what the beauty of the continent and all the opportunities and you know the culture which my expertise of course is tanzania um but i do have a good understanding of the continent in general uh, i still have a lot to learn it's not like i haven't been to all um of the countries on the continent although that is a goal of mine for sure um but um tanzania as you know is near and dear to my heart so i know i said i wanted to do i was thinking about doing a q a um for you guys and i think i'm going to do that i still have some questions coming in so i think that will be kind of fun and enlightening for a lot of people to answer some questions i know some of the common ones i see are about um, starting a business there some things i see are about the visa situation if you are a foreigner um someone was asking one of the most common ones that come up which is kind of interesting is if the country is safe so i'll go over that um, for people to visit with children or to move to and i always find that that tickles me sometimes because to be direct of course the country well i shouldn't say course because people are actually innocently asking but yes the country is very very safe out of most of the countries on the continent um, Tanzania historically has been the one of the most peaceful countries um, in history so it is a very very peaceful country they do not have um, issues with public safety or crime and that type of thing um, which is one of the reasons I feel blessed that that's where my family is from because I don't have to worry about that when we are home. I don't have to worry about my children. Um, I always tell you know people that um, it's a place that I don't, I feel at ease when my children are there. So, so yes, just to answer that question quickly, it's very, very safe. You don't have to worry about that. Um, in my q and I'll try to go over some other things that people have asked. I don't want to go too deep into it now because I want to dedicate a whole video vlog about that. What are you doing? I want to hold it now. No. Mm. Go play. Wait, why do you want to hold it so bad? Because I like holding screen. I know. She loves helping me with these vlogs, guys. So, anywho, 
that's where we're at. This is, like I said, I just checking in to say hello. I also want to welcome all of the new subscribers to my channel. Um, I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I feel like I have worked very, very hard to grow this community, to grow this channel. I also want to make sure that I'm all, always delivering content of sus substance um, to you guys. Um, if you are wondering what my channel is all about, okay, so let me just give you a disclaimer now. I when I was first learning how to be a YouTuber and I was doing a ton of research, I mean hours and hours and hours of research to try to figure this out, one of the things that all the professionals and the big YouTubers always say is to find, you know, your category. You have to find your niche of what you're going to deliver and you have to stick to it. Well, one thing I can say as you get to know me and I am going to try my best to start being a little bit more transparent about who Ebony is and um, give you more insight about uh, my family and just my journey, who I I am as a person I want to start sharing a little bit of that more with you guys little by little so that we can really develop a connection in this community um, but I think my channel is is indicative of who I am as a person which is what I would call it an organized hot mess um, it's just the pattern of my life and I've just come to accept it. it in, in my household it's either balls to the wall or it's really calm basically <laughs> so it, I call it an organized hot mess so I originally was trying to do a focus on just entrepreneurship and be kind of like a business coach to people who are interested okay baby see what I mean this is what you're gonna get in my channel it's not gonna be organized all the time but I was trying to be a business coach for people who were interested in um, entrepreneurship and owning their own business or just business tips knowledge and advice and if you go back to my very first videos that's what you will see is was much more I guess corporate or professional or whatever you may want to call it which is not really where I'm at in life anymore um, and then I kind of transitioned into sharing our world travelers because we are a family that um, are a family that travels um, to different countries in the world um, which is one thing that we are very passionate about that we love um, my children have parents who are from two different countries so that's something that um, we really highlight and something that is part of our base for what we teach our children to have a global outlook um, so then I started sharing that then I went into as I was sharing our world travels of course the pandemic hit and that prompted me to start launching my own brand my own business and do some things that I've been passionate about for a very very long time and just didn't have the time or um, availability to do it you know my kids are finally getting to the age where I have a little bit more freedom for myself and I'm able to work on some goals that I've had for a long time so with that being said things started happening all at the same time just organically so my channel started just changing organically on its own so my channel is just going to be a little bit of everything if you are an organized hot mess like me and you can relate you're going to see a little bit of everything on here you're going to see my business life you're going to see um, my five o'clock shadow right here all the time who is still attached to me very much you're going to see um, my our travels um, as soon as we feel safe as a family to travel um, I'm glad to see that people are starting to do that so you will see us traveling and having fun as a family and then you will see all the opportunities that come my way as I build my brand and business Ugh, sorry guys like you're bouncing me I need to be still for a second. sit down wait a minute so that is kind of what this channel is about <laughs> It's a mouthful, but it's me, and I want to be more of authentically who I am as a person with you guys and um, show you as much as I'm comfortable with showing you. So that's kind of that, right? Mm -hmm. Now can I bounce with the camera? You want to bounce now? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Get ready, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I can't tell. So until next time, guys, bye.